Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so last night my husband and I had a heated discussion, not really, <laughs> but kind of, a heated discussion about modesty for women. I started the discussion because I was scrolling on Instagram a couple of days ago and I stumbled upon this video and I, I couldn't find it. Like I looked for it, I wanted to share it with you guys, I couldn't find it. It was this older guy and he's one of those guys that was, you know, wearing like traditional Arab clothing, long beard, you know, that type. He was answering questions and one of the questions was, can women wear wide leg pants. His answer was, women can wear wide leg pants, women can wear jeans, women can wear leggings, they can wear whatever pant they want under an abaya, ha ha. And that video, honestly, I had a negative reaction to it. I was not pleased with his response. Like here is an, a man telling women how to dress. My argument with my husband was, I, I was telling him the story and I was like, okay, I think men and men's modesty is also important, but I don't see any woman sitting here on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere lecturing men on how they should dress. I, maybe it exists, maybe it's somewhere out there. I have never seen a video like that. I have never seen anyone talk about how men should dress. My husband and I actually talk about this quite often because men in Islam can't wear shorts to pray. Like their knees, I believe, if I'm not wrong, I believe their knees should be covered so they can't wear something above their knees. So my husband wears shorts, he wears them out. And then he comes home and, you know, whenever it's time to pray, he puts on his jeans or something, you know, long, or he wears one of his, like, men dresses. So my question was, if a woman is expected to cover up her entire body during a prayer, and she's also expected to cover up her entire body when she goes out, why isn't a man held to the same standard? And why aren't there women talking about this topic, telling men how to dress? But why are there so many men telling women how to dress? So this was my issue. And then I went into the comments, like most of us probably do. And I started reading the comments on that video. Most comments that I saw were negative. Women did not like this guy telling them how to dress. It was this rebellious response, right? From me, from other women to this message of like a woman should be wearing an abaya when she goes out. So then my husband and I, you know, started this discussion. And his point was the guy who was, you know, talking about how women should dress, in, in my husband's opinion, his intention was not to attack women. His intention was to, to talk about the scripture, Quran, and the message from God calls women to dress a certain way. And he was just going by that, by the book. My husband had a very good point. And then him and I kind of came to this conclusion together. Men dressing modestly is not as important as women dressing modestly. Why? Because a man showing his legs from knee down is not very sexy. It's not inviting. However, when a woman wears shorts and shows a lot of skin, from a man's point of view, I'm not saying this is from a woman's point of view, I'm not saying everyone thinks this way. This is just a general biological reaction. From a man's point of view, that is inviting to approach them, to talk to them. And men are such creatures, they're biologically created this way. And I'm not trying to argue with anybody about men's biological tendencies. I believe that's kind of a moot point. I think if we are very honest with each other, we all know that men have biological urges that are much stronger than women's. We started talking about it from a bigger picture perspective, from a societal point of view. A woman dressing to attract, to trigger something in a guy when she is dressing by showing a lot of skin, like wearing short shorts, wearing sleeveless tops, tight clothing. She is, whether she does it consciously or unconsciously, whether she wants to or not, she is still attracting a lot of eyes. When a woman does that, it does something in a society. I'm saying big picture. I'm not saying like one woman. I'm saying when all of us collectively do this as women, a man goes outside and that's all he sees. And this, these are words of men. It's very hard for them to focus on their societal responsibilities, which is go to work not drink, not do drugs, not watch porn, not cheat, 
not get distracted, not have premarital sex. It is very, very hard to do these things when everywhere you go and everywhere you look, women are dressed the way they dress in the West. So my husband was saying like when he went to Hajj and every single woman was covered head to toe, he said, if you saw a little glimpse of skin that was very attractive. So he said, imagine if a society lived in a way where women were modest, right? You didn't see a lot outside and then you would come home and then your wife is dressed beautifully, attractive, sexy, just for her husband at home. All men would want to come home to their wives. They wouldn't want to go to any other woman out there. They wouldn't have this urge to cheat. They wouldn't have this urge to go and follow sin. And I'm a strong believer that any sinful behavior that you do, you kind of open a portal. So for instance, if you just look at a woman and you shouldn't, right? Because men in our religion are called to look down. If you look at a woman, and it's really hard to look away when women dress the way they dress in the West. So you look at a woman, that's a sinful behavior because that creates ideas in your head. You open a portal to other sinful behaviors. That's a window of opportunity for the devil to come in and infiltrate your mind. So then you all of a sudden find yourself I don't know, watching porn, getting ideas of cheating on your wife. Anyway, these weaknesses grow one after another because of this one little moment of weakness. So it's very, very important for men to not look. But it's also very important in a society because we women are 50% of a society. We are a big part of it. If we want to do our part, we need to dress modestly. Not because a guy told you how to dress, not because some guy with a long beard in a video on Instagram told you how to dress, but because this is the role you play in a bigger picture. So if you expect men to not cheat, to control their urges every single time, to continue to work hard and provide for the family, to be there for his kids, to provide safety and security, to provide financial stability. If you expect men to do all these things, I think that male behavior is equivalent to women dressing modestly. I feel like that one behavior, if we do this as a collective group in this society, I am confident that things would change. I am confident that men would be better men because women are better women. In my opinion, women have a lot more power than anyone talks about, than we think we do. And the power is not being sexy and attractive. Power is the way we behave sets the tone for the way men should behave in a society. So when I was telling my husband that there are not enough women talking about men dressing modestly, and he said, well, that's not the same. I thought about it. And he is right, it is not the same. Nobody cares if a man is wearing shorts. Not a lot of people do because that doesn't change the trajectory of this of a whole society. However, if a man stops providing for his family, if a man starts drinking, if a man starts cheating, that changes the trajectory of a society. That affects all of us as a collective in a very bad way. The way I hear everyone talk about women dressing, it's just not presented in the same conversation. And I think these two conversations need to be happening at the same time. We should have higher standards for the way, the way men are, and we should have higher standards for the way women are. And those high standards are different. If you expect the men to provide safety and security for his family, you will not expect the woman to do that because there's already a man doing that. What is it that a woman needs to be doing? So I think we should be looking at it from that angle. I hope I didn't offend anybody in this video. These are just my own thoughts, my opinion, my mindset could change tomorrow. I don't know. This is just a discussion that my husband and I had yesterday and it was very impactful on me and I already do dress in my opinion modestly for the West. I live in the US. I don't wear tight clothing. I don't reveal any skin like on my legs. I always wear long pants, long skirts, stuff like that. I do wear t-shirts. I just think that when you live in the West and you don't wear tight clothing and you don't show your legs. That's already pretty modest for this society. These are just my thoughts. Anyway, please let me know what you guys think. If there are any women watching this, please let me know what you think about modest clothing. And 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!